Following on from the previous video, we, uh, we were trying to evaluate this integral, but in order for us to do that, we need to find dy by dx squared. And in, in the previous video, we got, to, uh, we got to this stage here where dy by dx squared is given by this. So now we can put this, we can put this back into, into that integral. We can put it back into here, into here. And remember the, uh, the, uh, the parametric equations for the cycloid is given by this. So from here, you can differentiate it to give you dx by dt. That will then give you this. Times both sides by dt. That will then give you this. So we can now, we can now, uh, we can now replace. So d, dx, dx is given by this times dt. So we can now put this into here as well. So, uh, so this whole thing here, this whole thing here will then become this. Will then become, will then become this. Because, uh, because we earlier we worked out dy by d, dx squared is given by this. We can put it into here, and then up here, up here, hang on, and then uh, and then up here, sorry, and then up here, dx is given by this. We can put it into the into the dx here. So this thing here is 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 this thing here. Okay. So so now now we we need to evaluate this. But earlier when we were in the dx realm, we were integrating from x equals zero. To x equals um, equals a pi, but now we're in the dt realm, so we need to make the adjustments here. We need to figure out the limits from here to here. So earlier, when we were in the uh, earlier when we were in the dx realm, we were integrating from x equals zero to x equals a pi, but now we're in the d dt realm. We will need to figure out from where to where. So hang on. So, uh, so, so looking, looking at this, looking at our substitution here, we are integrating from x equals zero. So looking at this, hang on, looking at that. So, so we are integrating from x equals zero. So, so when, when x equals zero, so this is zero here, that equals a, bear with me, sine t. So we need to figure out t when x equals zero. Well, divide both sides by a, that will then give you this. You see, when, when, when x equals zero, sorry, so, sorry, when t equals zero, then x will be zero. So, so the limit here will be zero. So when t equals zero, x will be zero. Now we need to figure this out. So in, in the x realm, uh, it will be a, a pi, a pi, so this is a pi here, and then equals this thing here, bear with me, a bracket t minus sine, sine t, Divide both sides by a, so that would then give you this. So, um, so you see, when when uh, when t equals when t equals pi, when t equals pi, then x will be pi. Okay, so so this thing here will be pi, and this thing here will be zero. I hope you understand this. Um, well, so 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 now now um, now we can make the adjustment. So this is from zero to pi when when we are integrating with respect to t. So t equals pi here, t equals zero. So we are integrating from uh, from t equals zero to t equals pi. So this whole thing here will then become this. Will then become this. So now we uh, we need to tidy this up. So hang on, hang on. So remember this one here. Well, you can imagine the one as being well. This here is one, exactly the same divided by exactly the same. This thing here is one. So now, uh, now, well, just, just somehow tidy this whole thing up. So, uh, so, so this, this thing here, well, same denominator, same denominator, you can merge the two. That would then give you, that would then give you this. But we, we want to, we want to push this into here. So rewrite this as a, as a, as square root. So, so square this, square this, and then square root it. You see, now, because we want to, because we want to push this into here, um, imagine this as being this squared, squared, square root. So that's this thing here. So re remember, if you have square root of a, square root of b, that's the same as, well, you can, that's the same as, uh, root a, b. So we can now push this into here. So that would then become this. That would then become this. And then this thing here gets multiplied to the top. Uh, 
and then uh, and then it it really tidies itself up. So that would then give you that would then give you this. Now cancel out, cancel out. Uh, what this here will cancel out with this. Uh, this here will cancel out with this, and so on. Follow it through, and then it will, it will give you this. Now this thing here, you you're integrating with with respect to t, and this thing here is a constant. So when you integrate it, it just basically becomes t times that constant. Remember, you're evaluating it from from t equals zero to t equals pi. So that then becomes this. So the time, so the time it, so uh, so if you release it from from the or, origin, the time it takes to get to the lowest point is given by by this. So uh, so now now we still need to show that no matter where you release the ball, the uh, the uh, where you release the particle, whether it's here, here, or here, the time it takes to get to the bottom will still be this. So currently, um, this t here represents the time it takes for the for the particle to free to fall from here all the way to here. But so so that so this t here is the time it takes from the origin to the lowest point. We still need to show that no matter where you place the um, the particle, the time it takes to to get to the lowest point will still be the same. We still need to show that. I will continue in the next video.